hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can uh, create this uh, checkout page and we also submit this form and get this plan id and payment method so uh, before jumping to the create new subscription i want to tell you some important thing so these are the tables which uh, comes with the laravel cashier uh, subscription and subscription items right it's also added uh, some columns here in this user table like it's a stripe id payment type and payment trial ends so you need to make sure that these all will be null you don't uh, you don't need to make them empty so if you uh, if you made them empty so it will not going to work because uh, why because these are case sensitive field so make sure that these field will be null right so this customer is created that's why this field is displaying like this so let's stripe id and subscribe it so we are going to create a new customer so when the new customer is created the customer id will be stored here so this customer id is not id of user id so it's a stripe id where when we create a new customer in the stripe so stripe will generate a random id so we are getting the stripe id and saving them here so it's uh, coming uh, it's saving this by default uh, using laravel cashier so that is a uh, very cool we don't need to manually do everything okay so now we need to first uh, create the uh, here we need to first get the user object uh, which user which is logged in right so we need the logged in user and here we are going to first create the user and then we are going to create the user payment method okay so user create customer or get so if the user is not created it will create this user and here i am going to check that if the user if the user and uh, what is the name of the user field so let me uh, verify this uh, from my previous one so payment method okay so if the user payment method is not null then i'm going to use this okay use this statement so we are receiving the uh, payment method field right so let's grab this here and uh, save them into the variable so it's a payment method and uh, we are going to make this uh, request and then request uh, contain a payment to method payment method and we are checking that this one is here that if payment method not equal null okay if this will not null then execute this if it is null then it's not going to execute this because if uh, this payment method is null and this will be executed it will throw that uh, uh, resources id can't be null so i already told you that it's case sensitivity error that when your fields are not null and uh, uh, when your fields are not null in this case if user purchased uh, user have a trial period and uh, uh, when the user having the trial period the account is created in the stripe and user uh, stripe id contains some data so that's why it's not going to work so i'm adding this here right so and the after this uh, i want to create the subscription right so before jumping to the subscription we need to first to get the its uh, id right so let me uh, go to the checkout page and here we are getting this plan id okay and uh, let me get this from there and save this into a variable so this one is a uh, we are coming we are getting this from the request object and this request object contain the plan id right so we are getting the plan id and this uh, saving into the variable okay so what other parameters we are required so, so these uh, are automatically processing and now the time is to create new subscription so let me check that my video time duration and it's not going longer so let's continue it okay let's go to the laravel documentation and documentation says that how you can create the subscription so you can give it a read from there so first you need to create the user object and then call this new subscription method so this new subscription method is available in the billable trade so let me show you so let's search this subscription and this subscription 
comes with the Laravel okay and search this here new subscription new subscription and this is not available here so you need to find this in the billable trait so I'm going to the user model and here I'm finding this billable okay in the billable you need to find this uh, go to this uh, trait manage subscription and here and yes it's there so it's a new uh, subscription so this accept a name of the subscription and its price so it means that it's we are referencing here the plan id okay great so let me go back and here we need to call this so let me copy this stuff and go here and paste this okay so first uh, we are getting the user instances so replace with this one and this one is a uh, default so you can change this behavior but i'm skipping this for now okay and then you need to pass this uh, plan id so we are receiving this plan id here right so let me pass this plan okay and then this uh, create will accept the payment method id so we are generating this uh, add payment method so let me save this into a variable payment method equal payment method so let me also create this uh, a global it's a uh, null by default and uh, here you need to display your payment method id so we are adding this payment method and then if the payment method accepts so let me uh, first check that uh, if this is not null so you need to type this payment method and if this payment method uh, let me check that null condition not equal null so you need to get its payment method and uh, get its id so it will return the payment method id so otherwise if it's null so it will uh, make this empty great okay i think we did uh, uh, everything so let me verify this everything is uh, good and then i'm going to create this uh, subscription and yes everything is good so after this i want to return return and first i need to i want to create a session so what is a session name so i want to create a session here and this session we call a flash here so it's a uh, alert uh, success alert uh, success here and then uh, subscription uh, or we can say that uh, uh, you are subscribed to this plan okay and uh, save this one and let me check that uh, what uh, what is the session we set it here so it's a simple st alert status okay so let me make this alert success so it will display us a success message okay great so let's go here uh, we need to actually perform this inside the try catch so we are going to catch the exception so make this try catch i think our video is going bigger so let me check that if we got any errors then we will do this in the next video but if we did not so we will going to cover this video okay exception oops not exchange it's a uh, exception and uh, exception so here i'm going to return return back okay with the uh, errors with the uh, errors and what's the error so i'm going to make this so uh, error and uh, what is the uh, error so error would be the what is the error so uh, you know, unable unable to create subscription due to this issue so what is the issue name so we are going to can get this with the uh, get method get message and uh, and this here right so i think we are good to go so let's go here and go back so we are in the basic plan and let's enter the detail of the user 
and create the subscription okay it's a uh, 4242 okay it's still reloading this so make this 424242 and uh, like that so it's still reloading this so let's wait for a moment and yes it's completed so click down this process and yes it's processing and uh, yes i think it's processing and it's displaying nothing hmm. because we created this session and we did not uh, redirect it right so that's why it's displaying nothing it means that it's a uh, return success so there is a two route okay so you are familiar with this two route it's a laravel 9 new feature okay so plans all page uh, not no not this one we are going to make this to a checkout page okay checkout page and this checkout except to so let me make this through a stripe uh, plan so let me find the checkout route uh, i don't know what it is it's this one okay and then this checkout accept and parameter so let me pass this uh, plan id so what is the plan id it's uh, this one so it's a plan and then this plan contain a plan id so i'm passing this because it will throw otherwise it will throw an error because this require a parameter so you can also pass as a dummy here so test param okay tests <laughs> oh i'm not going to do this so let's go here and check that is uh, our subscription is created or not and yes our subscription is created so its name is default stripe id is this and its the status is active pricing is this one and this pricing is references to this plan id so let me open the plan id here and uh, this plan id is this plan id right this one and this plan id exists in the stripe and stripe know that what is the price of this plan great okay and the quantity is one trial ends it, it uh, empty and uh, here if it's not created it did not uh, created any it's uh, ending durations so we will add this later okay and it's also created uh, one subscription it's a pivot table and it's also having some details of this one great so we successfully created our subscription so let me uh, check that duration it's going bigger so let's let me show you that uh, how it's uh, looking in the stripe and yes this uh, this subscription is also created in the stripe so let's click on this and open its more detail so the name is that name is the ethniazi and it's uh, great date is this and uh, it's created for a month so that's why it is referencing, uh, referencing the next month okay id is this one showing difference okay so it's already get that $19 and it will total is subtotal and stuff like that so there is uh, it will also charge this user in the next month $19 so that's great we successfully subscribed our user and in the next video we are work on some other things so I will meet you in the next one bye bye